60 second economics on the principal agent problem. And the principal is the owner or the shareholder. They own the business, but don't necessarily run it day to day. But typically they're driven by the objective of profit maximization. Whereas the agent or a manager, well, they run the business, but they don't own it. They control many day to day decisions, including pricing and marketing. Because an owner isn't watching 24-7, there's a degree of asymmetric information here, the agent might pursue their own goals. For example, they might aim for revenue maximisation, for prestige and bonuses, or satisficing, doing just enough to keep shareholders quiet. Well, the most common solution to the principal agent problem is financially rewarding the agent for acting in the principal's best interests. In other words, aligning the interests through, for example, performance related pay, where you link the manager's salary to key targets such as productivity or sales. The company hits the target, the manager gets a bonus. Giving managers shares in the company effectively makes them part owners. So if the share price goes up, the manager's personal wealth also increases. And large shareholders like pension funds can attend business annual general meetings or AGMs to question the board and vote on executive pay packages, in theory holding agents directly accountable.